With more cash in their pockets, more and more Chinese consumers are heading to the big screen. As a result, China's film market is booming, with the box office hitting 2.7 billion U.S. dollars in the first nine months of this year. To get a slice of the pie, foreign production firms are now tapping the market by co-producing films with Chinese partners. Our Chen Xiangqin takes a look behind the scenes. With more disposable income in their pockets, Chinese consumers are spending more on leisure and entertainment. The number of theater goers was 190 million last year, and that number is expected to surpass 290 million by 2014. Riding the wave of expansion, foreign talents and production companies are reaching out to China's abundant capital and enormous market through co produced films. Every quarter, the Korean Film Council selects six South Korean production companies willing to co-produce with Chinese firms and moves them into the China Film Business Center. We support these companies by helping plan, produce, and invest in co-production films. Cooperation models are becoming more sophisticated than ever. Many studios like Paramount Pictures with its Transformers franchise have been taking steps to appeal to China's fast-growing audiences by hiring Chinese actors or featuring Chinese products in their films. It's different from capital injection and co-production. It's like when we're producing a film, we just hire one director or an actor, not an entire crew. In this case, we can better satisfy the needs of more audiences and also save costs. And the corporation has ventured beyond the private entertainment businesses. In June, after nearly three years of negotiations, South Korea and China's culture authorities drew up a pact to jointly produce movies and TV programs. Once the deal is signed, movies produced in each respective country will be considered locally made, and the film companies will be able to operate more smoothly under protected legal benefits. The move is viewed as a signal that Chinese government is loosening some of its control on the movie industry. In 2012, China expanded quota of overseas movies from about 20 to 34 a year, including 3D and IMAX films. But that is still below what foreign studios have been hoping for. China's box office revenue posted over a 30 percent rise in the first three quarters of this year, mostly contributed by domestic movies. Quan Xiangqing, CCTV.